In today's test trial, we are actually showcasing a deck which looks absolutely weird, which looks actually disgusting, but it's actually one of the best cash trial decks right now and has no count at all. In case you guys enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe and also make sure to use Creator Good Morning in the shop. Thank you so much for everyone who's doing that. I would say it's Double Jump to Games and let's destroy some opponents, some of the best players in the world, with this absolutely disgusting deck. Here we go into game number one. Of course, this deck normally shouldn't make any sense so far. I mean, I just like won every single game and also what makes this deck so good is like I don't have evolution zap actually on this account. So I swapped out evolution zap, I put in arrows and put like bats instead of um, minions to have like a second evolution. This is like what I like to do, right? Switching out evolutions when you don't have them. I mean, pretty smart play, right? I'm a genius. But it is what you also can do, but in case you have evolution zap on your main account, this is like actually my second account, main account is currently ranked number one in the world, that's why I can't play it. Um, you can use evolution zap. I would say it's a bit better than arrows and then sub in minions for um, How's it called sub in minions for bats, but this variation works also really really nice So so what the heck is he gonna do there? I'm just gonna go for my little prince <laughs> Oh, This is a good bomb like not a great insane incredible big 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 bomb bomb But okay, I'm just gonna go for this So I think he has to go for his Okay, I think I'm just gonna go bats there because I mean he has to go inferno here, I think, most likely. He goes arrows first. Okay, this will be a ton of damage, bro. He's really underestimating damage. Also on the left hand side, look at this. We're gonna be able to get a good amount of chip on both sides. And I might just go bomber there just to get like some extra damage. I mean, yeah, he could go for something. Otherwise, it's gonna be like a double connection. I mean, two elixirs spending for like 1k damage seems worth it, right? So he plays a really, really interesting deck there. He plays Labyrinth with Barbarians. Normally you kind of see a ton of guards, you can see a ton of like evolution block in this deck, but he plays the classic Barb's version. So, okay, I might just need to go da a little Prince. He's gonna zap anyway, so it will be tower down. But I guess that's okay. I guess that's okay. I'm just gonna go for my Goblin Giant there. He has to go zap, but he's not gonna zap, so we still might save the tower there. Do we save the tower? I don't think this do. I think I can't save my tower there. And yeah, maybe I should have. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. I'm not sure because I had to need like I needed elixir on the other side. So I might just go now for my bomber there. So what is he gonna cook now? I'm just gonna go G Skelly. Okay, what am I gonna do next up? I'm just gonna go arrows this. No, I'm just gonna go bats. And what is he doing now? He goes in for this. Okay. I think in this type of situation. I'm using just my Goblin Giant the bridge bro. Just Goblin Giant immediately. I know he's low on Elixir. I know he doesn't really have the best answers. So he goes in for late Inferno D. So I think with a good lighting we should be able to take tower down here. And we are currently in a 1-1 one -one situation which I think is pretty nice. In case he goes in like for Lava now I might just go G-Skelly like prediction. He goes in this. So he at least has to use Barbarians right. So we're kind of forcing out Barbs. I'm just gonna go for my Bomber there. I think good Bomber just making sure we're cleaning up everything. Also gonna go arrows to make sure we're killing everything. I need to go this. Just gonna go bats like this high. So what is he gonna do now? He goes in arrows. He goes in zap, but it's not gonna kill that. So I think it won't be a shot, especially with the king to helping, right? Yeah, no shot taken there. I'm just gonna go for my golden giant opposite lane there to the left. Okay, okay, okay. Is there gonna be a lightning? I think I have to lightning this. Otherwise, it would be just immediately dead. Okay, that's okay. I guess yeah. Just gonna go barbs, but that's okay. So he doesn't have anything on the ground besides bomber. So yeah, I hope he's gonna waste his bomber because that means I can free go G Scaly and bats in the pocket. I don't think he can do anything, bro. His cycle is so bad. Just go arrows there, also making sure to kill one of the skeleton ranks. The G Scaly is on the tower, and the G Scaly will get damage and also death damage. I guess this is over. I can just go lightning there, and it's over. GG's well played, bro. I'll play this guy, and even if you feel like okay, he has arrows, he has zap, he has evolution zap. So how are you defending, bro? You're just spamming 24/7, and he just has two ground cards. So G Scaly in the pocket, nothing he can do. Here we. Go guys into game number two against Jay Sane. So I'm just gonna give him a good line. I'm just gonna go Lucian Bomber or like normal bomber in the back to get as fast as I can to the Lucian Bomber. We need to spam this card, bro. It's busted. And I mean, this deck basically works really, really well because everybody's using Princess Peach and Princess Peach doesn't do too well against all the tanks, right? We're playing basically a triple tank deck. So I'm just gonna go for my bowler there. Bowling. Okay. So I'm just gonna go arrows there. Arrows are gonna come down. Need one more bowler shot. Let's go. This is awesome, and then now, like the good thing is now that his um, okay, good skeletons though, but his ice spear is out of hand. So my my actually my bats will get a ton of chip on the tower. I'm also gonna go evolution bomber down now. He's really low on elixir, so the evolution bomber gets like two like shots on top of the tower, no like one. 
So maybe the evolution bomber wasn't as worth it as I thought, but we still up 1k damage that early. I think, uh, I don't really think it was a mistake. I think it's completely fine to do this, to be that aggressive, especially because now we still have Elixir to just go in for my G Scaly or something. I'm just gonna go LP there in case he goes in like for his, I mean, in case he goes in Axe though. He doesn't have his Knight in hand, so he can't really block my Boulder. I'm just gonna go Boulder there like a bit higher because if I go far in the back, he could have just immediately gone for his good old um, Axe boss. So which is a bit annoying that arrows of course do really well against Archers, but Evolution Archers are really, really tough since I don't have Evolution Zap. So I kinda need to find a way around this. Hmm. So what's the play here? I think I'm just gonna chill. I'm just gonna wait until he goes in. Yeah, I'm just gonna go G Skelly now. So I have normal bomber. So what does which? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna go for my bats. I'm just gonna go for a really, really. That was a really, really good bomber, bro. Really good snipe. I'm just gonna go for my. Oh, I would love to get an ability out there just to get get some more pressure. Do we? Uh, are we able to get one out? Let's. No. What? How? Okay, that's actually really annoying. So my um. Guardian might tank there, or like might get some damage, better to say. Okay. okay, I need to be really careful about this. Timings! Help me! Okay, I need to go lightning now. Okay, it's still okay, bro. We didn't lose here, but of course, it's nothing you really want to see. I need to go bats now. He needs to go fireball at least. I'm just gonna go arrows. Good arrows, though. So, where is this stupid knight, bro? Where are you playing your knight? Okay, he's playing a really, really smart knight, though. Okay, I'm just gonna go bowler now, because I know, like, I'm up on Elixir. Because he just wasted four on top of two Elixir. And I think now it's maybe time to build up a huge push, right? The only real thing I need to be careful is, of course, Evolution Tester, but Evolution Archers. Bro, Evolution Archers are so annoying, because Evolution Tester, at least I can Lightning. Evolution Archers Lightning doesn't seem too worth. So I'm just gonna go for my Bomber there. Now I'm just gonna go for this. And he has to, like, he has to defend this. He really needs to defend this, bro, and this might be not easy for him, so I'm just gonna go for this at the bridge. Okay. I'm just gonna use my ability there. I'm using my bowler. Ah, oh, that was a really bad bowler, though. No, but we still get on tower for some chip, I would say. Yeah, I mean, that wasn't optimal. I need to go for this. I'm just gonna bomber. I still think I can win this one, bro. I just need one huge push. This is like what the deck does. Even if you're playing pool, you can still easily win. This is exactly what the deck does, bro. I'm just gonna go for my bats here just to try to snipe this. I'm using my prince there. My little prince just to get the free cut cycle. And I'm just gonna go bowler. He goes defensive axe, bro. Really, bro? Really? Is that how you wanna play some Clash Royale with this Morton Royale? Arrows? Bats? Mm. He has to go fireball now. He has to go fireball now, bro. That's not a fireball. Okay. I don't know if that was the right decision. We do get maybe a connection now because he has to go lightning, right? He has to go lightning late. So we're just gonna go pre-lightning because he has to go... He has to go Tesla, I mean. And we can just go arrows there. Even arrows won't do anything, but I still think they're gonna get maybe some damage. Bowler. I mean, Bomber almost on tower, but we're now in a damage lead. He has 35 seconds to come make this one. And this he needs a miracle, bro. This is what I'm saying. I played poorly, bro, but this deck is so busted. Do something, Clash Royale. I'm just gonna go little Prince there. Ability, please, fast. No, ability doesn't come out, which is... Oh, ability actually came out. Came out a bit later than expected. Normal Morton Real Life, also in some other occasions. I'm just gonna go Lightning there. I'm just gonna go Arrows. And this is Jova, guys! This is over. GG's well played. It looked pretty bad, but I knew I just need one push to kill him. And, bro, when his tower isn't targeting, or, like, when his tower needs to recharge, the stack is unstoppable, bro. Going to next game here with Yang Jin. I'm just gonna go for my Bomber Hina back. And psyching to my evolution bomber as always, bro. And I know he won't win this game, bro. He won't. So I'm just gonna go for my bowler. He might play lava again. I feel like lava is one of the toughest matchups, so <sighs> I think it would be pretty good to cover, but of course it also depends like which ground cards he has. Okay, he goes in Night Witch. This makes it interesting. What could this be? Night Witch and also Inferno D. Hmm. Okay, what the heck, bro? What the heck, bro? Random G-Scaly at the bridge. Normal, like, e in life, maybe. Okay, I'm just gonna go arrows there. Because of the arrows, my G-Scaly still stays alive. I still got a decent amount of counter pressure, and I also have self ability available in case he wants to go for something. And I don't think he has, like... What does he have? Recutes? 
What am I like watching again, bro? What what is this type of game I'm watching? Bro, what the heck? This was the what this ability, bro? Okay, it's time. The thing is, like, this is what this is why I love Golden Giant Niku meta, bro. Like, this is why it's so good. Because sometimes they just have like cheap counters to respawn, right? They got bats, they got like skeletons. And this is exactly why like Goblin Giant is so good, because it's gonna kill this type of stuff. Especially when the tower isn't doing bro. And now my bats are also coming down. My bats are gonna kill this entirely. Of course, it's everything is one shot, but still, his tower takes ages to kill everything, and the bats are gonna go down and kill his tower. So we could need one zero spot, one minute twenty remaining, of course. It still might be rough if he gets like a really big double recruits push, but I got the bomber, I got the bowler, I got the G skelly, I got a little prince. So yes, you can complain about royal recruits, but with having like the little prince, the bowler, and the bowl, uh, the bomber, you have like three of the best counters in the entire game. You can feel confident. So I might just go little prince and little prince G scale combination is so so underrated, bro. This deck, bro, enough this deck, bro. It's like it rhymes. I don't know. It reminds me of like the broken goblin giant days. Um, I mean, to be fair. It's kind of it's the Golden Giant deck, but like, I think the Fisherman back in the days played. Oh, okay, so I'm just gonna bats there to force out his arrows, so my like evolution bomber gets time for it, unless he decides to go in for his um, fireball on top of it, the, on top of it. But this also means like overcommit, right? I spent with the bomber and the bats two elixir. He had to spend seven elixir to kill that, so. There's no way to support for him to support his push because he has to kill my troops first. And his last push now will be a G scaly on the left hand or like a, a like I don't know, like something on the left hand side, which is fine. Because we all know Battle Ram doesn't even connect, bro. Battle Ram doesn't care. Battle Ram basically doesn't care. So I'm just gonna go for my arrows there. I can just now go for my bomber to make sure I'm killing a knight which there easily, or I don't even need it. GG's well played. Once again, easy win, bro. If you play the stack well, if you play defensive, if you wait for your opponents to mistake and then just spam aggressively when the opponent has to, like his tower has to recharge, you won't lose, bro. It's a random deck, but you can't. You, it's like, it's busted, bro. I don't know how this deck works. I thought it's gonna be a joke, but it's like actually broken. Next guy up, he was Asogo Sogo Taza, bro. I hope this name doesn't mean anything bad. Um, please. But I don't know, like Mega Lebanon, okay. So using my Bomber in the back, once again, bro, like I still don't, like every time I'm playing this card, it's like so stupid, especially if I play in any other evolution, like Bats, bro, why is Bats two cycle? Even Bats are way worse than a Bomber, and Bomber has like one cycle. But to be fair, maybe questioning Clutch Well decisions also, yeah. I don't really think you can kinda, like, you, you will never understand this, right? I think you can't question, and, can't question this type of stuff. So what the heck is he even doing here? I'm just gonna go for my G-Scaly here just to tank for the Mega Minion and also get like a ton of little Prince Balls. So that was a really aggressive grave Yes, he got damage, but yes, he still has to defend both sides. So I'm really interested to see how he's gonna defend this. The Bowler, yes, the tower does overall pretty well against the Bowler, but the Bowler will be still able to get a ton of damage. So I'm using my ability there. I hope I get it down in time. No, not, not in, yet in time, but look at this, bro. This Knight was so bad. So bad, so bad. This is so bad. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my Goblin Giant into a Mega Minion. Because I know he's at zero, so we're gonna win the game straight off again with the same... Okay, no, bro, what? Okay, he's at zero, but can't afford Barbarians. Hmm. So there's something wrong. <laughs> he can't be at zero. But really good Barbarian, I mean, really good Bomber there. To be fair, if he's smart enough, he's just gonna activate King Tower, but does he have anything? I think he has Musk, maybe. Okay, he could have activated, but he decided to not to. Bro, he's actually a damage lead. How does it work? How did it work? How did he defend this? Okay, maybe the Golden Drain wasn't the best, but what the heck, bro? This is not how Clash Royale is gonna be played. Just gonna go GCLE here. So, what is this graveyard play? You can't just go naked graveyard. This is not how Clash Royale works, brother. This is not how it works. I was a competitive player and I'm still a competitive player, bro. I'm gonna tell you that. You need some coaching or something? Okay, I'm just gonna go for this. Just gonna go for my arrows there. Good arrows, making sure to kill the mass. Okay, so we're actually able to get a ton of damage there, surprisingly, because he just wasted a graveyard nakedly. So I'm just gonna go for my bomber there. So what the heck is he cooking? Like this guy, like bro, what? Okay, this guy should never cook again, bro. If you get a, like if you get a, a girlfriend or something, you need to tell her to cook, bro. You, you shouldn't cook, you shouldn't cook. This is crazy. I'm just gonna go for my lightning there because I feel like I can. Just gonna go for this. So like he has to go. Okay. So kind of think about what am I gonna do there. I feel I'm just gonna go this, this. And now I'm just gonna go bomber there because he, I know he's gonna go barbs. And but I also know he doesn't have arrows, so his evolution, like my evolution mobile kills everything. I can just go arrows there, the game is over. Yeah, bro. Well played, well played. <laughs> bro, why how did you play Clash Royale? 
Like my mom plays better and she never actually played this game. Hope you guys enjoyed this yeah, video. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to use critical mode in the shop. And I would say use this deck in the arena. And yeah, BM some opponents. They might crit. And it's really good because I mean Clash Royale is so popular right now. So it would be really cool if we even have less players than now.